a question came up on Twitter, which is, when you wear a 3M Aura for a while, when the headbands stretch out, will it still fit well? Well, I wanted to find out, so I put a 3M Aura in my car and wore it a bunch for a couple of weeks, uh, but I waited too long, and the headband just snapped while I was wearing it. So today I want to test how screwed are you when the headband snaps. I want to test whether you still get okay fit with one band gone, and whether readjusting it can give you fit that's good enough to still protect you if you don't have a backup mask with you. The first thing we're going to do is test our control mask to see how well it fits, and then we'll switch over to the other mask. Okay, 605. That's a, a good score, a very good score for an N95, and uh, in the typical range that I get for a 3M Aura. So the control mask is good. Um, let's go ahead to our experiment. Okay, to simulate what happened to me earlier, I want to know what happens when the band breaks while you're wearing it. So, I'm going to remove this staple here and I'm going to reattach this band. It'll be a little shorter and maybe a little tighter than it would have been otherwise, but since we're going to break it, uh, that's not going to be an issue for the second test. But we will test it with the headbands intact first, and then we'll cut it and see how it tests after that. Well, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, I repaired the strap with a stapler and it immediately broke uh, about the same place. It wasn't actually touching the staple, it's just brittle. Uh, so, um, well, maybe brittle's not the right word, but it, it, it broke. So, these straps uh, can fail uh, without any kind of warning. So, I can understand why that doctor was wearing a cup style mask over his, even though it makes it hard to breathe through the combination and it's uncomfortable. Uh, 3M does make another version with a different strap, the uh, 9210, and you could use those instead. They're less likely to fail catastrophically, but they're also much less common. So uh, now that we've got this all set up, let's try and see what this fit tests like with both bands intact. Okay, a 245. That is a very good score for a regular N95. It's lower than I normally get with the 3M Aura. Uh, maybe that's the straps, could be an outlier, not entirely sure, um, but it's not a surprise that it would be a little bit lower with the straps uh, bagged out. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the strap uh, that I'm wearing, just so it'll be just like, I'm kidding, I'm not going to use an X-Acto. Uh, I have a uh, pair of safety scissors, and you'll see why I need them, because I don't have my monitor set to mirror mode, so I really can't do this well. Anyways, the idea behind this is I want to simulate what happened to me earlier today and find out that if I didn't have a replacement mask with me, how much protection would I have gotten with the mask as it was when the strap broke? And to simulate that, we're going to go ahead and cut this off. You can see why I need the safety scissors. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and breathe normally. And uh, let's go ahead and run this fit test. Okay, 4.5. Um, 4.5 is uh, surgical mask territory, a little bit better than a surgical mask. Um, I think that means that uh, you really need to bring a backup aura with you. I hadn't really planned on doing so um, all the time, but having the strap break on me without any kind of warning has changed my mind on that. Uh, also consider getting the 9210s with the more secure um, elastic straps that have braiding over them so that they can't catastrophically fail because they've got a backup uh, outside of the elastic. 